Hi, this is Dr. Scott Morris. I am the medical director of Eye Consultants of Colorado in Conifer, Colorado. Demodex serves a function. These mites are part of our natural flora, just like our bacteria in our gut. They're there for a reason, to help keep our skin looking as good as it can, it can. But like anything, too much of something isn't always a good thing. And when we have a manifestation of Demodex, we have a problem. And so Demodex, though we don't ever want to eliminate 100% of them, and I promise you, no matter what you're doing, you're never going to eliminate 100% of them. The reality is we want to decrease their counts to normal levels. And the function of our job as optometrists or as eye care providers to do that is how do we get the patient feeling good, looking good, seeing well? And many times when we talk about anterior infectious bleph and specifically Demodex, that's our job is to decrease the count. They live inside the little hair follicles. You guys have seen them every day that you've been in practice. Maybe you didn't know what you were looking for. These are the ones that are the clear domes that are directly adjacent to the eyelid margin itself. That's different from bacterial bluff, because you have to remember, eyelashes grow, and so when bacteria sets up shop and forms its little biofilm, the eyelids, eyelashes are continually pushing them out. So when you see a separation between the eyelid margin and what you think of as bluff, then it is truly bacterial bluff. When you see the little clear domes or cylinders directly adherent or adjacent to the eyelid margin, that's actually Demodex. The best way to find out and prove to yourself is take a pair of forceps and pull out an eyelash. And what you'll do with that is go, what's this little bulbous stuff on the end? That's Demodex. And we're not talking one, we're talking a lot. But usually when they present, you'll look at them and you don't even need a slit lamp to see it. You can look in and go, their eyelid margins are red, swollen, puffy. And they seem much thicker than I would normally expect. Yet when you look in, you don't see, as we mentioned, the blepharitis, the infectious staph bluff type stuff. And the answer is, because that's not what they have. So when you look at that, I want you to look for those clear domes, look for the red puffy eyelids and the red swollen eyelid margins, and know this is probably Demodex. Once you do that and you notice the first time you see what they look like, all of a sudden you're going to realize, oh my gosh, there's a lot of patients that have this, and I've been treating it the wrong way. Well, the good news is, now you have a great solution to how to fix your patients and make them happy, see well, feel well. Blephidex.